Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. All right, y'all, so this is going to be a quick stuffing. We are going to go ahead and stuff um, a total of $500. It's going to be 280 into my wallet. And then we're going to do um, 220 into our sinking funds. We're not stuffing that many envelopes. Um, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the stuffing, starting with my wallet, y'all. All right, so gas, we're gonna add five bucks two gas okay and let's see i still have a 50 dollar bill in my gas envelope so five dollars in there bam we're going to add 65 to our grocery envelope okay let's get some 20s here 20 40 60 Okay, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then five ones. So let's get this together. All right, and then I still have, okay, so 120, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33. So I still have 133 in my, grocery envelope okay all right so 120 40 60 80 85 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 okay so 198 is in my grocery envelope okay bam um fun we're gonna put ten dollars in fun so just a ten dollar bill Okay, bills, we're gonna do 200 in bills. So let's go ahead and pull these 20s closer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So 200 in bills. Bam, and then there's nothing going in family, okay? So that's all for my wallet. Now we're gonna go straight into our sinking funds and we're just doing two cash envelopes in here. So the first one is going to be car. I am so close to um, having my total amount for my car registration. I told you guys it was 313 that I have to have, I believe by November 8th. Um, my car is registered in California. I'm in Arizona, so I do have to um, renew my car registration through a third party because we've been having issues with them not receiving um, proof of insurance from us. So um, my husband had no issues with going through a third party to renew his registration. He did have to pay an additional $25. So that's why I said last stuffing that I need 38 more dollars to cover the fee um, before I can renew my registration. So we're going to add 20 so the money we already have so we currently have one two three three twenty so i think i'm just short <sighs> what is it is it 18 more dollars not even 18 more dollars yeah i'm short like 18 more dollars so next paycheck um will be done with stuff in this envelope and i'll um go ahead and renew my car registration that way um, I can get it in time before it actually expires on the 8th. So that's that. And then the other envelope we're stuffing is Dead Snowball. And we're going to do um, $200 to Dead Snowball. Yes. So let's make sure we have 200 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So two hundred. We're gonna add to our dead snowball envelope. 
and how far away from so what did I say I need to pay off that what is it called that um oh my god y'all it's been a long day I can't even think straight right now promotional balance so I think I kept saying $7.98 in the last video but it's actually $6.98 that I need by November 23rd or 24th so we're at one two to 20 40 60 83 320 40 60 84 so we're at 400 so next paycheck um i think i'm scheduled to put is it 200 or 298 i don't know but i think by the end of this month um i'll be able to pay off that promotional balance if not by the end of this month definitely my first check in november that pro promotional balance will get paid off for sure. So initially, um, I was gonna pay off this prom promotional balance and then I was gonna go straight into um, paying off my Lowe's card because Lowe's was my lowest credit card. That was the next one that I was supposed to tackle um, before I realized that I had to pay off this promotional balance. So. I'm going to backtrack a little bit because I was thinking, I don't know if you guys notice, I don't do my paycheck breakdown anymore, but I pay $86 per month for my son's braces. That's a long story. His braces were paid off, but when we moved to Arizona, I had to pay, pay an additional $1,200 for them to continue the treatment of his braces. So I've been paying $86 a month for that. I'm ready to be done with that. That's $86 that can also be going to my Lowe's card. Um, so I think the balance on his braces is like five. Well, right now, I think it's $693 that I owe. Um, I want to get that paid off by the middle of November. And then I want to continue with my debt snowball um, and start working on the Lowe's card. So... Once I pay off this pro um, promotional balance, you guys will see that I'm going to be putting um, large amounts in debt snowball to pay off my son's um, braces next. And then we're going to go to the Lowe's card. Oh my goodness, I'm all over the place. Um, and I think I'm going to make a video to show you guys my plan to tackle my Lowe's card because I really, 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 really would like to pay that one off by the end of this year. I know that's probably not going to be possible, but I think that I can tackle it um, by the end of January 2022. So I'm going to get my plan together and I'm going to film a video to show you guys how we're going to tackle Lowe's after I pay off my son's braces next month for sure. All right. Hopefully I haven't did too much rambling. I'm like all over the place. But that's all for this stuff and y'all, I will see you guys probably in exactly one week because that's when I get paid next. Yeah, I'll see you guys in one week. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. What are you waiting for? Just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and please, please, please leave a comment down below so I know that you stopped by. Bye, y'all.